Hi, my name is James Allen, and I would like to show you something my father taught me how to do a very, very long time ago, when I was much younger. And what I'm going to teach you is how to make a round paper airplane. All right, what you need to create a round paper airplane is going to be an eight and a half sheet of paper, eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, or the equivalent. So, if you have A4, if you're in Europe or something, which will be fine. You need some clear tape and some paper clips, maybe. All right, first what we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of paper and we're going to fold this corner down so that we create a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. So we're going to fold this down, be very careful to line it up just right. Once we think we have that, we'll go ahead and crease it. All right, it's going to look like that now. All right, next thing we need to do is we want to remove this bottom piece that has that is not part of that triangle. So we're going to do that. Is we're going to go ahead and fold it, and uh, I, I like taking it facing it face down. We're going to fold it up again trying to match it up so we don't have it off center not always easy so take your time all right I'm gonna crease that there we go so now it'll look like this we have the flap now we want this to take this off you could use a pair of scissors or probably easier well depending I want to keep I want to fold it back the other direction crease it. Really kind of put a deep crease. Use your fingernail on a hard surface. Flip it over. Do it again. Alright. Now, I'm going to see if this will rip easy. If it doesn't want to rip easy, because we don't want it to tear or, you know, rip out part of your paper, use your tongue and lightly wet it. Be very careful not to give yourself a paper cut. It would hurt a lot having that on your tongue. Alright, and that should, I'm going to bend it one more time, yeah, I can feel that, it's much looser. And then I'm going to start on this end, and I am going to carefully pull that away, throw that piece away. Now we have ourselves a nice uh, right triangle, perfect, and it folds out, so it's a square. So I want to take it with the folded side, put it down towards me, and now I'm going to create a series of folds, a quarter inch, third inch or so, up like this. Try to get it, keep it even all the way across. There you go. Flatten that, crease it. Then I'm going to do it again. Right on top of that, try to keep it consistent. Two, three is probably the appropriate amount. You can play with it. I've done a whole lot more, a whole lot less. Uh, right, one more time. There we go. So what I've done, kind of created a sailboat hat. If you look at it, the folds here. All right. So next step is going to connect these two ends together and this takes a little bit of finesse so I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start holding it in one side here I'm going to start kind of bending it and rounding it uh, the goal is to try to minimize the paper binding and buckling and folding not always easy but it takes a little bit of time Once I get that, start looking at trying, so I'm trying to bring it together like this. See how that goes? Work on that. Now a couple ways of connecting these ends. Uh, if you want, you can just kind of overlay them a little bit, take a piece of a tape and wrap it, or I like giving a little bit more strength if I can, and if you see about these, these folds through here, and I like trying interconnect those folds 
Alright. If possible. Uh, there we go. So, give me a moment here. Fold them up, bring it together. See, like that. Gives it a little extra strength. I'm going to take a piece of tape. And I am going to go once around at that connection point. All right. We have a round paper airplane here. Now, ideally, I would throw this and it would fly perfectly. But this has a tendency, these have a tendency not to fly on the initial fold. Uh, so what we want to do often, and I suggest you experiment, throw it, see how it handles, and if it's not uh, handling quite right, paper clips will help. You help balance it out a little bit. There's a few on there just to kind of show you. You'll have to play with positioning and you only need one, may need three. It's up to you. You can see how I did that. Now, in order to throw this, what you need to do is you take your three middle fingers, one, two, three, and you're going to take your middle finger out a little bit, and that's going to go on top here. And then your other two fingers are going to go underneath like this. All right? And you're going to throw it. When you throw it, don't throw it hard because it will not fly for sure then. It's more of a gentle, kind of keep the fingers loose, and when you throw it, uh, it will just slip out. And by the weight of this front area, should carry it and hopefully th uh, fly uh, a long way. I wouldn't consider it a long ways. I don't think these fly quite as long as a standard paper airplane, but they're really cool. And if you do it right, you can get some nice flips and turns on it. And so here is how to make a round paper airplane. You can make this and impress your friends. Uh, enjoy.